Force, work, and energy. Today we'll learn about force, work, and energy. You are asked to move a table. In how many ways can you move it? Think of other things you move every day. For example, closing or opening a door. What do you do to make each of them move? Look at the cart. When you push a cart, it moves. It also moves when you pull it towards yourself. In simple, to move something, you either push or pull it. A push or a pull is called force. What else can a force do besides moving an object? It can stop a moving object. It can change the shape of an object. It can also change the direction of a moving object. Now we know what is force. Let's learn about kinds of forces. There are two types of force, friction and gravity. Let's learn first about friction. When you push your toy on a carpet, it slows down and stops after some time. The force which acts on it to slow it down is called the force of friction. Now push the toy on the smooth floor. Does it go further? Yes, because the force of friction is less on the smooth floor. Oh, and look over there. Some people are skating on ice. How are they able to glide so smoothly on the ice? It's because there's very little friction on ice. Come on, let's go outside and play. Throw this ball up in the sky. When you throw up a ball, it slows down, stops, and then falls down. This is because of Earth's force. Earth has the power to attract everything towards its center. The force is called gravity. Gravity acts on every object of Earth. That's why when you throw up anything, it comes down. Imagine now that there is no gravity. What would happen if you just jumped off? Okay, come out of your imagination. Now you know about force or pushing and pulling. Now let's learn about work. When you use force to move things, you do work. Pushing a chair is easy, but pushing a bookshelf is tough. You have to use more force to move the bookshelf. So you do more work in moving the bookshelf than moving the chair. Oh man, you look tired. Your ability to work is reduced. This ability to do some work is known as energy. We need energy to push or pull a cart or to play or run. See that car? It needs energy to move. Even cooking food requires energy. Energy is available in many forms. Heat energy. We get heat energy by burning fuel such as wood, gas, or petrol. It's used to cook food, to run a car, and trains. Light energy. Sun gives us light energy. Plants use light energy from the sun to make their food. Electrical energy. This is used for heating, lighting, and for running electronics such as a laptop, a fridge, fan, or light bulb. A force is a push or a pull. When force is used to move things, work is done. Energy is the ability to do work. Want to see more science videos? Subscribe to us and stay tuned.